Is it shorts? Is it a skirt? No, it's a skirt. And if you want to find out how to make it, keep watching. So to get started, grab your pattern pieces and cut out the fabric. If you want to know how I made my pattern pieces, I have a tutorial at the end of this video that shows you how to create the pattern pieces for this particular skirt. I cut out four pieces for the shorts and three for the skirt, and here is an overview of all the pattern pieces and how they should look. To create the shorts, start by attaching the two front pieces together at the crotch line, leaving about two inches unsewn. And then sew the side seam of one of the back pieces to one of the front pieces. The side where the front piece and back is not sewn together is the side your zipper will go, so choose wisely. Next, sew the inseam of the back pieces to their respective front pieces. After doing this, complete sewing the crotch seam together. Your shorts should now be a simple, except for the one side seam. For the skirt, take the smaller front piece and fold the straight edge in by one inch and top stitch it down. Do the same for the other skirt piece, but fold it in by your chosen seam allowance. Next, put the skirt pieces on top of each other so they overlap by one inch and then stitch where the overlap is so they become one piece. After that, stitch the back of the skirt to one of the side seams. Again, the side seam you leave open is where your zipper will go, so remember to choose the same side as you did with your shorts. So it's a little hard to see here, but I have gone ahead and pinned the waistline of the skirt to the waistline of the shorts. They are pinned together so that the wrong side of the skirt is on the right side of the shorts. Um, and then you just stitch the waistline down so they become one. Next, measure the waistline and cut out a waistband that matches this length. I made my waistband 1.5 inches wide plus my seam allowance um, and after cutting it out I fold it in half and cut the edges so the edges of the waistband take shape of a ribbon. Um, I did this because the waist curves inwards and this would create a better fit around the waist. Next sew the waistband right sides together with the waist of the skirt. Now it's time for the invisible zipper. The zipper is put on from the middle of the waistband and then this is folded down and sewn right sides together at the zipper before turning it inside out. To close the side with the zipper, separate the skirt and short layer and sew the side seams separately. Sew right next to the stitch you made for the zipper and down. Next I went ahead and hemmed the shorts and skirt and then sewed the waistband closed on the inside of the skirt with stitches not visible on the outside. I added a buggle just for fun and I think it was a nice little extra detail that really pulled it all together. To make the pattern for the short, start by drawing a box with the width of half your hip measurement and the height of your desired short length. The top of the square is your waistline. From the waistline, mark your hip depth and your crotch depth, and then divide the box in half. On the left side, go down one inch and then go one inch to the right. 
From this point, draw a line that when it touches the waistline is the length of a quarter of your waist measurement. Next, extend the crotch line with a length equal to 15% of a quarter of your hip measurement. So if your hip measurement is 60, a quarter of that would be 15, and then you find the extension length by saying 15 times 0.15, which is 2.25 inches. At a 45 degree angle, draw a line with a length of 3 fifths of an inch, or 1.5 centimeters. Then connect the lines. Now move to the right side and go in by 1 inch and then up by 1 inch. From this point draw a line that when it touches the waistline is the length of a quarter of your waist measurement. Next extend the crutch line with a length equal to 45% of a quarter of your hip measurement. So if your hip measurement is 60, a quarter of that would be 15 and then you would find the extension length by saying 15 times 0.45, which is then 6.75 inches. At a 45 degree angle, draw a line with a length of 3 fourths of an inch or 4.5 centimeters. Then connect the lines. The pattern piece for the back of the shorts will now be marked with red and the front pattern with green and so you know how to cut it out. To make the pattern for the skirt, start by drawing a box with the width of half your hip measurement and the height of your desired short length. The top of the square is your waistline. From the waistline, mark down the hip depth and then divide the box in half. From the middle, mark out a quarter of your waist measurement on each side. Then connect the lines. For front piece 1, mark 1 fourth of half your waist measurement, then draw a line down from that point. For front piece 2, mark 2 inches from that line you just drew. These 2 inches account for the 1 inch overlap of the two front pieces and the 1 inch hem. Alright, so now you know how to make the pattern pieces. If you want to add a waistband like I did, you need to cut off a certain amount from each pattern piece. For example, I wanted my waistband to be 1.5 inches wide, so I cut off 1.5 inches from all my pattern pieces. Also, these pattern pieces don't have seam allowance, so you have to add that yourself as well. Alright, thanks for watching!